The truth about gas and oil production has been muddled by political talking points, bad science, and some members of the media that have anti-oil agendas. Here's the truth about oil production and the facts you all need to know. I'll even touch on a phrase being said a lot right now. The president doesn't set the price of gas. Pay close attention and maybe watch this video again and share the facts with others, please. But before we dig into that, I want to remind you to subscribe and click that little bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. We give you more than car reviews and first looks of new vehicles. We give you car smarts because knowledge is power. Ask any production worker at an oil refinery in the Gulf of Mexico, and they'll say this. You've been lied to by the president and political cronies, but I want to set the record straight. They said, I'm going to tell you the truth, so pay attention. This is from a few workers who wish not to share their names, and I don't blame them. Here are the facts. There is enough recoverable crude oil within the continental U.S. to supply current and projected future demand for 400 plus years. And that's just the oil we know about. It doesn't account for future discoveries. We do not need to import a single drop of foreign crude oil. The domestic oil industry can easily meet and even surpass domestic demand. We've done it before and we can do it again. The domestic oil industry currently cannot satisfy domestic demand due to oil drilling restrictions imposed by the federal government, and this can change. The price of everything revolves around oil. The law of supply versus demand dictates the price of oil. When oil is plentiful, commodities are cheap. When oil is scarce, commodities are more expensive. Right now, domestic oil is scarce and the price of everything is high because these restrictions are imposed by the federal government. We import foreign oil from countries that drill and produce it much cheaper than we are able to because they do not implement all of the same environmental safeguards that we do, though their methods are far more damaging to the environment than here in North America. Every year, the federal government leases tracts of land to oil companies so that they can explore it for oil. If enough oil is found during that exploration, the company can then apply for a drilling permit, which allows them to drill a well. If no oil is found, or if the amount found is not enough to be profitable, the lease expires without ever being drilled on. Now, there are some leases that are active, but not being used. This does not mean that the oil companies are being lazy or they're trying to keep oil for themselves or playing manipulation of the market. It means they've either explored the lease for oil and found nothing or found oil, but it's not enough to justify drilling based on the costs. They let the permit expire. It's not Russia's fault, China's fault, Ukraine, India, Venezuela, Iran, or even OPEC or any other country's fault as to why everything is so expensive over the last year. It's the government and their administration's fault because they are suppressing the domestic oil industry for political gain, trying to push all Americans to buy EVs they can't afford. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you have any questions or comments, I'll be happy to answer. All my links for the social media, the book, and the podcast are down in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support on our Patreon page, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.